Okay, so you want to know how to make a mini map in Roblox Studio? No. Because I'm showing you exactly how to make one in under 10 minutes. It is simple and not hard whatsoever. And you can complete this no matter what level you Okay, so to begin, what we're going to do is... Whoa, careful there. You really thought I'd let you get on with the tutorial? Nah, we're only 9 subscribers away from 500 subscribers and I need your help to get me to 500 subscribers. All you have to do is hit the like button, subscribe and that's it. Anyway, on to the tutorial. Okay, so this is what it's hopefully going to look like when we finish. We have a house here, we have a tree, have a brick wall and these are all just elements um, that we're going to have in our scene and then we also have... Wait. Alright, so these are all just things that I've put in a map and this is the stuff you're going to have in your mini map. And if we go ahead and play it, as you can see, when we walk around we see we've got the... All we can see in the mini map is just the top of uh, the stuff we've got. So we've got the house here, we've got the tree here, we've got the spawn point and we've got the brick wall. So that's... you can do whatever you want, but yeah. Anyway, let's begin. Okay, so finally we are in Roblox Studio. Now we can finally begin what we're going to make. Okay, so we're going to get rid of this spawn point uh, first of all, and we're just going to get to start a GUI. We're going to add in a mini map, and we're going to call it you add in a screen GUI actually, and but then we're going to call this mini map GUI, and this is just, this is what we're going to use to store all the stuff inside, and then inside we're going to put in a viewport frame. And then inside of that viewport frame, we're going to add in a UI aspect uh, ratio constraint thingy. You know. Inside of the viewport frame, we're going to also add an image label. And for the image label ID, we're just going to use this ID that I have saved. So feel free to copy it. I don't really care. If we actually zoom in, you can see we've got the arrow here, but we're going to make some adjustments, adjustments to that. Okay, so before we deal with the image label, we can just um, customize our viewport frame. I'm quickly actually going to do one thing to the viewport frame and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a UI corner and this actually gives us our shape. This is pretty much like rounding off the edges but actually if we add, give it a, a big corner radius it'll actually become a circle as you can see. So one comma uh, five is good and then it just looks like that. And then I'm going to take our image label and we're going to get the background transparency to one and size the cursor to, to a good size and I think that works good for me and make sure it's pointed up as well you don't want it to be starting upside down okay now we're going to change the viewport frame name to actually I'm gonna change it to if I can actually change it I'm going to change it to map frame I'm going to change the image name to player arrow and then next what we're going to do is we're going to add a folder into workspace and we're going to name this viewer folder just like that okay now this is where we can actually start to add elements into our map so i'm just going to once again add a spawn um thingy wooden house part a road and a roblox dummy all right so once you have all your elements we're just going to take these elements and we're going to put them in our folder so including the spawn point as well and yeah, so just gonna select all of them and then we're gonna drag them into the folder. And you also, also, you want, actually want to add the base plate as well, okay? And then what we can do is we can actually add a local script into the main minimap, well, the minimap GUI. And we're just gonna call this viewing GUI. And now we can begin to script. <laughs> And there we go, I think we're done. So just go ahead, save it to Roblox, and then we can go ahead and close it. And now we can test it out. Okay, so we spawn in the game, and as you can see, the cursor is now finally working. And we can move around, and perfect, you can see all of our elements, the spawn location. We've got the road, we've got the dummy right here, and we've got the big wooden house. And we've got this yellow brick. And hopefully, can we jump on it? Let's try and, let's try and 
try and jump on it. We can't jump on it, but that's okay. But yeah, um, we finally completed this after um, strenuous um, trial and error, but we finally got there. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope that made sense a little bit. Hopefully I can edit it to make it make sense. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. wooden house and we've got this yellow brick and hopefully can we jump on it Let's try, and, try and jump on it we can't jump on it but that's okay but yeah um we finally completed this after um strenuous um trial and error but we finally got there um and yeah thank you so much for watching this video uh, I hope that made sense a little bit. Hopefully I can edit it to make it make sense. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.